Hey guys, hope you are all well. So as you can see, I'm in my dressing gown or bathrobe as you American brothers may say. So today, I wanted to do a video about my hair loss journey. And to be honest, I was a little bit apprehensive about doing this. I just thought, you know what, this is something I wanted to bring to this channel as well. I wasn't sure when to do it or but there's never really a right time to do anything it's just the main thing is that you just take that action to do it um so yeah it's basically around my early 20s i started to notice that i was losing my hair and my hair was going a little bit my dad's lost his hair gone fully bald and so and his dad as well so it was bound to hit me and at the time I think um, Wayne Rooney one of my uh, favorite football players who played for Man United he um, he was losing his hair and he had a <clears throat> hair transplant um, so immediately as soon as I seen that a light bulb kind of moment went off my head and I thought well if he's had a hair transplant he's had some kind of something done to, to help with his hair loss surely there is something that can be done for me so as you know you go down that kind of internet rabbit hole you start looking you start researching and i did find that there was some treatments i could do so i did look into regain um, like a uh, a foam or liquid you apply to your hair every uh, twice a day and um, um, I think I tried it for a little bit uh, but I couldn't really get along with it and then my next step was to actually look into having a hair transplant myself and um, I did go to the hair transplant clinic and they said yep yeah, you can have it done and if I went to two actually I shopped about a little bit um, but at the time it was kind of a bit out of my price range so I didn't go ahead with a procedure but what I did come across is something the hair transplant clinic says I could do is uh, go on finasteride which I am currently still on till this day and that was about five years ago and it has helped it's definitely helped thicken my hair and it looked a lot better than it did Five years ago so it has yeah it has helped for me and um, the reason why I want to do this video is more for people who are maybe struggling with hair loss or unaware of treatments is that there is options out there we are in 2020 or the time when I looked into this it was 2015 you know we're not living in the 1960s anymore people having treatments done Boob implants, as you know, and stuff like that, liposuction, whatever it may be, there is stuff out there, and I don't think there is a shame to it. If anything, you can get a wig, a hair system. That is something. But that is something that doesn't really appeal to me. So yeah, I have been on finasteride for over five years now, and it has worked out pretty well for me. Um, but you know, if you are thinking about taking this have a look do your own research because it can have some side effects to it and potential side effects should i say and luckily i don't really think i've experienced any of them you know such things as erectile dysfunction uh, low sex drive depression gynecomastitis i butchered that uh, just gyno so basically man boobs stuff like that can happen on finasteride touch wood that hasn't happened with me but it's worth doing your own research and having a serious look into it before you jump on an esteride um but yeah for all you guys who are saying like hey man why don't you just shave it off you know just get it over and done with be a man about it i actually did shave it off two years ago beginning of 2018 i remember the day like it was yesterday i literally just said oh just sod it i'll try it and uh, went to the local Turkish barbers, just said, hey, just shave it off, man. 
and he did it and yeah that was it and it was all right i mean um i will just display a picture of it there there's me like meditating going monk mode i uh put it out on instagram and yeah i was on holiday as well with it went to canada and uh yeah i wore a hat sometimes sometimes i didn't and yeah i went out with pretty much it was starting to grow back a little bit and i went out uh, on a night out kind of approached some girls didn't really affect me much because you know it's not all about how you look it's all about how you feel and you know and so yeah i still went out and went out and partied and had a good time it didn't really affect me but it didn't really suit me i don't think like maybe like if I, worst case scenario if i had to shave it all off for whatever reason and, and that was that then i'd obviously just get used to it and it'd be what it'd be but i just thought i look better with hair it suits me better and so i thought well i'm taking this medication and it seems to be keeping on what i've got to the best i uh, might as well stay down this path and just yeah and just because when i do style it it doesn't look too bad i, I make a bit of effort take a five ten minutes styling it it, it it doesn't look too bad when i have a good haircut yeah i, d I don't think it's the end of the world i will show a, a couple of pictures of, of that actually um so yeah I, th I think you know there are options out there for people and i think um a lot of people just think you know oh, that's it i'm going bald got to shave it off and be done with it type thing but you know it simply isn't the case and uh yeah it's something that i definitely want to bring forward to this channel um hopefully it can help some guys maybe if you, you you're going through hair loss Cause some people start as early as 18 as far as i know and that's a damn young age to start i mean i started at like my early 20s when i was like 22 23 i started um but yeah i think i thought i'd bring this channel this content to you guys it's, it's quite hot in here I thought I, I want to bring this to your attention because it might help some of you guys out and hopefully you know you can get some insight into it if you want to look into some creams or some medication or maybe a transplant or a hair system you know I'm all for it go for it whatever suits you um, but you know I hope it has helped to show you that my follically challenged journey and um, yeah um, Please let me know as well. I mean, I'd be happy to hear your thoughts if any of you've been on finasteride, any kind of creams, or what results you've got. I am interested. Leave a comment below. Give me a private message, whatever it might be. Um, and if you have liked this video, please give it a like. Subscribe if you are new around here. Yeah, I'm making videos every day and you don't want to miss them. But all in all, guys, hope you're having a cracking Saturday and I'll see you for tomorrow's video.